What's up guys, Zach here with Dr. Eyeball and D. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite professional style bags if you're looking to up your style game and get a new briefcase or bag. I'll show you that in this video, hang around. What's up guys, Zach here with Dr. Eyeball and D. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to show you one of my favorite bags. Show you one of my favorite professional style bags today. Watch my channel at all, you know I like bags. I spent the better part of a year trying to find the perfect call bag uh, as a resident. And I did find it, it's this one. Um, I made a video on it, all the insides of it and how I kind of pack it out and stuff. It's a camera bag uh, by Low Pro, but um, this is kind of what I carry on a day-to-day -day just because I still take call as a resident, an ophthalmology resident. And the way it's kind of compartmentalized lets me just open it up and go right for whatever I need. And I really like the compartments in it and the way it opens up forward. If you're looking to get something a little more professional, a little higher end, that's not a backpack, maybe you want to move away from that um, kind of like just backpack style and you want to get something more like a briefcase, I'll show you what I think is one of the nicest and maybe the last bag you would ever need to buy. I may just make this video part of kind of like a new segment where I just review things that I find helpful in my day to day as a resident, as a doctor. Things that I like to carry, you know, like electronics, gadgets, bags, all that stuff. If you're interested in any of that stuff that I kind of use on a day to day basis, because you might uh, find them helpful too, consider subscribing and we'll just maybe make this like a segment that I do kind of on weekly, monthly basis, whatever. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's get into the video. So this bag I would put in more like a professional level. Um, so so if you don't want to be like, you know, at your job carrying like an actual backpack and you want something that looks a little more, uh, you know, professional, this is probably one of the best companies in my opinion for something that's going to last and it's really nice, really durable and really worth the money in my opinion. So let's get into the bag. Without further ado, I'll show you what it is and then we'll go into like the specs of it and the sizes and all that kind of stuff. So this is it basically. It's the Saddleback Leather uh, Briefcase. And it's a hefty thing. The one I have is uh, one of the larger sizes in terms of kind of the, the width of it at least. Um, they make smaller ones and they make different colors, but this is the one that I got. Um, this is the tobacco brown version of it. Um, and it's a super, super durable, real leather briefcase. It's very thick. Um, these things, I believe, have a 100-year warranty on them. So it's something that's going to last you for a very long time. Um, and probably, you know, if you like it, the last bag you would ever really need to buy because it's just going to get better with time. It's going to distress and look better. Um, and it's not going to break down or anything like that to any substantial degree just because of how durable it is and how well it is made. Now, this one that I have is more of kind of a rugged appearance. If you want something a little sleeker, a little more maybe like um, modern professional style, they make different colors. They have kind of like chestnut cherry type colors and black and they have them in like a slimmer profile as well. This one is kind of bulky um, so it's a little more like a rugged look to it but still very nice in my opinion and so if you want something slim or more modern uh, they do have those options but just getting into it it opens up like this it has these uh, buckles on the front of it so right here it has three buckles and these are pretty heavy duty like really nice metal uh, you know it's not like flimsy cheap this is all like really well made um, nicely constructed materials here so it has three of those and those close. Normally when I'm using it, I'll just actually use the one middle buckle to keep this flap closed. You don't really need three. If you got it, a lot of stuff in it, it's really heavy and you're going to carry it by the handle, you might consider doing three just so all the stress isn't on uh, this one strap to keep it closed. But um, opening it up, it actually does hold a lot of stuff, especially this one um, with the two pockets. Kind of it has the two sections right here. You can see, and they make a, a thinner version of this one that doesn't have all this in it. And so just kind of in the back section of it here, um, you know, I can fit a 13 inch laptop. Uh, you could fit an iPad, you could fit a laptop with a case on it as well. I just don't have a case on that one. Um, it has some nice little pockets here. Um, so you can put whatever you want in here. I just have a uh, gonio lens case and then my, um, you know, my lenses here. And then you can put books in it. This front case is actually pretty substantial in size, so you can fit a, you know, a couple books in there. And then even on the sides down in here, it's going to have this little, uh, these little pockets up here. There's one over here too. And then uh, it has this nice little thing here that you can just kind of pop your keys onto and then it kind of goes inside the bag so that you know where they are and you don't lose them and they don't fall out or kind of, you know, slosh around in the bag. 
but all very nice material, all very thick, um, super heavy, kind of heavyweight, like very durable bag. At first I was being like very careful with it because I didn't want to scratch it, but then I realized basically uh, it's just, you know, it's not really going to do any damage to it. And it just makes it look better and kind of more distressed, so I've kind of let that go. Um, on the back, there's this pocket here. It's kind of a thin pocket. Um, you know, you could fit something like a, you could fit an iPad back there, like an e-reader, something like that. Um, or something that you just want to have quick access to. And then on the sides, it has these little pockets too, which are a little bit small for putting something like a water bottle. But you could put something, you know, else in there if you want. But it has one on this side, and then it has one on this side as well. Um, and then what it has is this little ring here. And this strap, which is a really nice, like, heavy-duty strap, and it comes with this shoulder pad. It comes with a spare shoulder pad as well, I believe. Um, at least mine did. Um, so this kind of unclips if you want to, and you can actually make it into a backpack. So basically what you can do is if you want to make it into a backpack, and this is what that other shoulder strap is for, uh, so that you can have one on each shoulder um, when you're carrying it as a backpack, or if it just wears out, which it probably never will, um, if you're carrying it as a briefcase, you could use it as a replacement. But you would do like this, and then it kind of serves like a backpack, so obviously mine is, the straps are a little bit tight to, to do it, but the idea would be that it would be kind of like this, and then it kind of transforms itself into a backpack, and you have the shoulder strap, and then you would put on the spare shoulder strap here to use it as a backpack. I don't really use it that way, but you definitely could. Actually, I kind of like it. I've never tried it before, but uh, that's not too bad, actually. Um, but I normally just carry it like a briefcase, like a shoulder strap. Um, anyways, so that's it. It's, it's a huge bag. It's a huge compartment. Um, if I had to do it again, I would probably actually get the thinner one, just because I don't actually need this much space for what I carry on a day-to-day. -day. Um, I could really just do with like one of these compartments and not have it be so wide. But if you want to carry a bunch of stuff, you know, you could put a lunch in here, you could put some extra clothes, uh, books, whatever you want, basically. But um, this one is pretty big, pretty uh, bulky, pretty hefty, um, but all super nice materials. Very well constructed. They're not cheap, but again, you know, they're worth it because this is probably going to last forever, basically. I can't really see myself ever needing a new one just because this thing wears out unless, you know, something very drastic were to happen to it, which I don't think is going to be the case. So this is probably the last briefcase that I'll ever need to buy. Um, so I think that the money is worth it. And to go over kind of the sizes of it, so this is, I believe, the smaller version, and they have different uh, sizes you can get, but this one is about... You know, just measuring it, you know, they list the specs online, but the actual measurement here is about 14 inches wide there. And then if we open it up, and like I said, you, you know, I have a 13 inch laptop uh, that fits in super easily and it could fit in just as easily with a case. And you could very likely fit uh, an even larger one because these little flaps too are going to come out. So you have plenty of room in there for laptops and things like that. Um, and then kind of the, you know, just the dimensions roughly here of these little. Uh, pockets. This one measures about two and a half, three inches, and then the same here. This one's going to be about three inches on the front. But again, because of the way these folds on the side are, it allows it to kind of like expand. So you actually have a lot more room uh, to put things in there. Um, kind of the height of the briefcase. Just if you guys are like wondering, you know, you have something you want to carry, you need to carry on a day to day, and you're wondering if it'll fit. You know, it's roughly 11 inches. 11 and a half inches there. Um, but again, they make a larger version of this. I just got the smaller one because I didn't want a, a super huge one because again, I don't carry a lot of a lot of stuff. I don't really need that much. Um, but anyways, super nice briefcase, very high quality materials. 100 year warranty, you can't beat that. So you really never are gonna have to buy another briefcase probably if you get one of these. But if you're maybe like, you know, moving up to another level in your profession or your you know, graduating residency and you want something that looks a little more professional you could consider getting a bag like this um, or you know as a graduation gift if you were looking for something like that um, it wouldn't be a bad idea so it's a super nice super heavyweight very durable bag the only downside I could see to this bag would be just um, that it's a little bit rugged looking if you don't want that which I don't mind I like the way it looks um, so it has that rugged look and this one it's kind of a it's just a bulky heavy bag um, but again they make thinner options so it doesn't have to be that 
Um, but those are kind of the only maybe drawbacks I could see to it. Every other aspect of it is super nice and I really have been happy with this bag. So if you're looking to up your bag game, um, which I always am, because I really like bags, consider one of the Saddleback leather bags if you're, uh, if you're in the market for that. If not, then you can always just keep using a cool camera backpack. They're super nice, they're super high quality, and they make a great graduation gift, or if you're looking for a bag for yourself because you're moving to a higher level in your profession or you're graduating residency and want something a little more professional looking, uh, consider looking into one of those because they are very nice. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD, and I will see you guys in the next one.